Hi, welcome back to my channel. Here is something very exciting. Wow, look at that. Woohoo! It's an SBF uh, video broadband signal generator made by Rode und Schwarz. This is a beauty. Labor Rechentechnik. Yeah, wonderful. High frequency Labor. I've bought it on eBay and I've got it in this condition. And in this short video, I will show you some details. Hmm. I guess the previous owner has removed the tubes. We have a large aluminium sub chassis, which is mounted completely isolated. Hmm. Yeah, I've bought it on eBay in this condition. Um, it was for spares and oh, come on. Why? Uh. Well, and in this short video, I just want to show you some uh, awesome details on this unit. This is not a complete teardown, but uh, this is all that I can afford right now. Here you can see again the aluminium chassis, which is mounted isolated here. The whole thing does not touch uh, the outer body. That's exciting. So we have isolated materials everywhere. This old fan has seen better days. And behind is a brass RF uh, sort of shielding, which allows airflow, but it also shields the RF signals. 1963. Wow, crazy. Look at this wonderful construction. Okay, the EL34s are missing. That's not too surprising. Hmm, this is wonderful. Excellent. And these things here are pull, pushing down the tubes. They keep them in place. Here are more tubes and what I guess is an oven oscillator. Wow! That's great. Look at this drum. Woo! Crazy! Hmm. The mechanism is not working. The drum should turn, but it's not turning anymore, unfortunately. The isolation between the uh, main chassis and the outer body continues here. So here is again isolated material. Everything is isolated. Crazy. Beautiful mechanism. Wow. And again, silver coated brass shieldings, which allow airflow, but no escape for RF signals. Okay, I have removed the bottom cover and now we will have a look inside. Are you ready? <laughs> Alter! That's crazy! 
Look at that. That's absolutely amazing. And we see filter capacitors for all DC voltages and uh, filament voltages. So there's absolutely no escape for the RF signals. And look again. It does not touch the outer body. That's exciting. It's completely isolated. Here, I guess, is a large capacitor or... No, it's a switch. You see a large DC coil for the anode voltage. Another DC coil, a classical uh, CLC network and much more interesting, beautiful components. Wow, wonderful. Wow. So here is where the frequency generation uh, happens. The frequency selection happens. We see some uh, precision resistors and the, they are for timing purposes. Rosendahl resistors. Another, yeah, filter capacitor. The uh, body is connected to the um, chassis and every RF signal will be shorted to ground here. So we have no capacitance from here to here, but between the uh, body and the signal or DC voltage. That's wonderful. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah, that's it for today and I hope to see you again soon. Bye. Thank you for support on Patreon. You guys rock. Bye. Oh yeah, look at this. So many things to ship today. That's a great day. Oh yeah. Oh.